my name's Corey Innes. I'm a strength and conditioning coach at the Victoria Institute of Sport. I look after mainly badminton and track and field. I'm Charles Smith. I'm a physical preparation coach at the Victorian Institute of Sport and I work with the water polo and shooting programs. So my name is John Tasconi. I'm the lead SNC coach for swimming and rowing. So my name is Matthew Batsy. I'm a strength and conditioning coach here at the VIS, working with development netball, diving and a few individual sports. My name is Ben Willey. I work here as a strength and conditioning coach. The sports I work with at the moment are sailing and cycling. My name is Harry Brennan and I'm a physical preparation and sports science coordinator here at the VIS. One of the unique challenges for strength and conditioning coaches within an institute is the fact that they'll have to work across different sports. The key services that strength and conditioning coaches provide the athletes is essentially trying to keep them injury free and more robust for the demands of their competitions and their sports training and also to improve their performance. Um, we have different testing metrics that we'll look at. Uh, for example, with strength training, we look at our traditional squats, deadlifts, we can test that with strength values, uh, we can test that with um, things like a force plate or the jump mat that give us numbers that we wouldn't necessarily have if we were just doing this in, in a different gym context. The force plate allows us to look at the strategy they employ, so how deep they dip and how quickly they dip. Uh, we can compare left and right legs. I think the challenges that the different sports and different athletes present, um, because regardless of the sports that the SNC coaches work in, um, every one of those athletes will have a different challenge on a given day, at a given month, at a given time of the year. It's really important that a, a good strength and conditioning coach is able to understand what underpins the performance and so it's able to really specifically target the intervention where, where it needs to be. Elite sport, because of the pressure, there's a constant incentive to get better, to find new ways to do things because uh, we are competing against people every single day. I think we have some of the best athletes here um, and in Melbourne and Australia which is renowned for sports science and, and strength and conditioning so when we're problem solving when we're looking at ways we can improve performance that that's not just a one person approach but a team approach. I think we're, we're lucky to have a, a world-class facility here at Lakeside Stadium. We're also very fortunate to have some state-of-the-art technology you know, in, in terms of our force plates, um, our linear transducer system, the Ultra G rehab treadmill, you know, timing gates, our, our gym aware portable uh, velocity uh, analyzer, etc. So they're all they're all things that the, the coaches need every day to, to do their job and help the athletes in the sports become better informed. That we're always trying to find to understand things better. We're always trying to find better ways of training things. But getting to know each athlete, getting to know the coaches, um, has also been really really interesting in getting basically the wealth of information and being a part of the community here has been excellent. Being in an environment where you can learn something new every day and develop, you know, the, be part of a team, so I can develop myself as a support staff, as well as helping the athletes um, is the most uh, motivating and inspiring thing. It's tremendously rewarding to see the impact we have on the athletes. The thing that makes a difference to the athlete is the actual training that they do and the execution of that training. Uh, so they're technical coaching ability is, is probably the number one thing that will actually make a difference to an athlete.